Okay, <clears throat> let's go back to Ogre. See what he has to say. Why is there not a fucking... guys I'll get them later Where is there a... Let me just walk back here a bit. Alright, there we go. What the fuck's going on now? Black pudding, she was any oh, black pudding, yeah. Well, look who's here. The witcher with the fists of steel. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a theory fox. Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed. That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got to be carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's old Geard? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ain't with you! Drank with you! Fought beside you! Did you kill me now? I'm one of you! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Tell you what's gonna happen now. I'll ask again, a light like. You'll answer just as politely. <laughs> and if I don't, then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. So what'll it be? Yep. Am I gonna hear why you wanna take his head or not? Aren't you a thorny prick up the ass? Atom and said to kill him. Got your answer, have we? Now piss off. We've work to do. Switch your brains with your cock or something. Get your mutant with your ass out of here. Or. Or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa. What the bloody hell is this? Geralt, have you decided to play defender of the downtrodden? More like gutter of sons of bitches. As long as I'm here, you'll go no one. a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a witch of be me, and I shall let him go. Stand aside. Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. Just listen. Stunt. Thank you. 
Tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. Wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you don't know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. <laughs> Getting off cheap. <laughs> Really necessary, that whole show? Ah, show? Come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. <laughs> Helps him feel alive. Mm. They say you know what to mean. Judging by the mark on your face. You know what this is? I cannot be certain, but I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You're immortal? Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying <coughs> does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest you wish be granted. Mm -hmm. For there are consequences. Yeah, well, make sure I follow. You know very little could hurt. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seems boring and monotonous. The tricks to blow through that ball. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. Mm. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything left uncharred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open and it turned into a man. Do you know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gods are all dim. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. That true? You know the Toad was a cursed prince? He didn't just know. He brought about the curse himself. Did he not mention that bit? Well then, allow me to tell it. Quite a gripping story. Olgierd once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgierd grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So <clears throat> instead, he condemned the prince to a base life and a toad's bloated corpus. Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Stables. My men are preparing to depart.
This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him until you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved, while I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. What he said about the prince, that true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ain't something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Mm. Uh, I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollowed the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. Could have told me the truth about the toad. Having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody theory what was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. <coughs> Bring me the house of Maximilian Borsoni. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? Okay. What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? <coughs> Out of my sight, wretch! Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old. But his mounts always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him. And show him the time of his life. My second. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Yeah. Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will <clears> they find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alpine, in Oxford. Okay, fine. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. Olgierd's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm afraid he's dead. Has been for years. <sighs> Never agreed to necromancy. Necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summon. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Besides, I need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Not the summoned. Not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt. Geralt. Geralt, aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Evelyn blood and get on with it. Okay. Mm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. Okay. The von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. You know the one. Hmm. Borsodi's house. 
No idea how I'm supposed to bring in that. Ooh, the only Bosodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenford. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. We just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired <clears throat> once you're there. Okay. Oh, well. and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more Absolutely. enthusiasm, Richard. You know, you just might enjoy yourself. Mm. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Good luck, Geralt. Okay. I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. Boxing an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest form. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The Ambies don't got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <coughs> We're conducting important business. You can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. <coughs> Interesting. Curious to know, what do scholars look like to your mind? All that reading's hard on the eyes, right? So they wear spectacles. No oh, eye. Thick ones, propped on wrinkled noses, and their clothing frumpy at best. Who've they got to dress up for? The books? Fascinating, really. But if I were you, I'd make sure no medic ever overhears you. Huh? Why is that? Because when you get caught in a battle, she might just refuse to stitch you back up. Yeah, that look. We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it so well? There's no denying her beauty. <clears throat> but I've got Yennefer. That's rude. Talking out your ass, mate. Passing on quite the catch. If she looked at me like she does you, I'd not dally long thinking. Here's the medicine. Yeah, but I've got options. Solution, so careful with the dosage. I'm Geralt. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should proceed. I thank you. In Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help enough guardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Edernian, elves, dwarves, halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Vizima. Yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out. 
and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though, I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. <coughs> Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't the social call. All right, tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad, and this toad was actually a prince. No fury wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri Duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a maid showed up, captured me. A man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Hmm. Could be a mage, a demon, or a djinn. You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother and show him the time of his life. A music ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, and we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorcerers or necromancy involved. Gave me this. A concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I. But I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? <coughs> oh. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or Famous Rudanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estekin. Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Okay. <laughs> Everyone flinches because because I did a roll. Like, ah. What the fuck? Yo, get the fuck out of here! Holy shit! Scared. If this thing hits me once, I'm dead. I'm running away. <laughs> Keep the horse. I'm running. <laughs> I'm running away. Yeah, well, I'm literally ten levels of higher than that motherfucker. It's because my, it's because my stuff's not good anymore. I think. Yeah, like my armor's only like <coughs> level twenty nine. Just go down slowly, girl. Go slow. Slowly. Slowly. Slow. Oh god. 
don't know. Oh god. It's all gone wrong. Okay, it's fine. side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, leaving a garland for the wedding. Wedding? A wedding? Whose? A dear friend's. From the academy. Speaking of which... Would you go with me? Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember it's not a date. Sensor. Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. See, Garrett knows. Let's get the hell out of here. What's this von Everick blood? The tone was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah, too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Oh, that looks just a little. This is no crypt. It's a crypt with a mausoleum. I got it. Life and death, fire and blood. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return and walk midst the living, ye who have departed. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Rise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the voted fire. Fire and blood, life and death. I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Not on her, Athena. 
What I wonder is how this mortal obtained the family's blood. For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge, only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet Olgird, you will never see again. Really? <laughs> Ow, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Von Everick, brother to Olgird. Oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they not itched much since I died. Well, that's they good. Want to fight your family, they started it. I'm dead, not blind. I prefer to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And grandmum too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Old Geard's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and Old Geard's. I'm here on a business. I'm a swithing corpse. With no interest in important matters, yours or any other buggers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. You mentioned you like to enjoy yourself. Well, just so happens that's why I'm here. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? Be what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else, though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Listen, Old Gear gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? <laughs> now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me. After my spirits. How much time do we have? I think one night should do the trick. <clears throat> Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Oh, I keep forgetting. But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a saber. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I will go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Mm. Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Hmm. Guess I could bring someone here, and you. You could borrow their body just for the night. You wish me to possess someone? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Say I agree. Whose body would I inhabit? Don't know. One of Old Geard's men, maybe? Or a peasant who'd agree to do it for coin? Oh, no, no, no. I shan't crawl into the skin of some unwashed bandit or dung eating swine. <laughs> I've a better idea. Oh, no. Not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, yes. 
Yes, please. <clears throat> well, no. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Hear the smell and sense. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Death was a small price to pay to lie in a lap so lovely. <laughs> so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes. As soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned cat. <laughs> What's happened to you? Geralt, I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? <sighs> Sorry about that, Shani. Wasn't me. So who was it? Me. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to then? Well, to him, to Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. Potential? Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life, which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. <laughs> Listen, I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. <clears throat> so... Willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. What if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right now, sugar mom. Let's say we leave this dank crypt. There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. <laughs> I take it you're a Vladimir now. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. My sentiments exactly. Between you and me, this Witcher fellow is an awful bore. <laughs> <laughs> Only sometimes. Ha! Ah, seems we're kindred spirits. So, off to the nearest hedgerow. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer <laughs> in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, I shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Uh. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. In death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head <clears throat> like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in <laughs> To tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, 
Are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> the Haylofts we shall devastate together. Oh, God. <clears throat> We're just friends, always have been. Never professed your love. No heartfelt admissions, confessions. Never anything between us. You mean to say you never gripped those gorgeous... Ooh. Never cherished those beautiful, day, stunning... So, soft in the head or the loins. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, a pederast. Fine, if it's not your flavor, you needn't taste. All the better for me. I'll see she's properly... Pederast? So, Witcher, time for the wedding? It's time. Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Let's go do it. Let's go show them a good time. A comely maid. You're quite the fool if you've not plowed her yet. Keep your paws off her. I'm to enjoy myself. Can I help it that I best like tumbles in the hay with fleshy lasses? Who doesn't? Oh. This whole witch's life. All right, let's go. Bloody fine mount. Good stance, powerful rub, stable withers. Well, well. See, you know your horses. I should say so. My two greatest passions in life, mares and maidens. <laughs> Spooking my horse. Roach doesn't like ghosts. You meander. Why? I was to have a good time, not wander about like a knight errant. Who's the golem there? You be a witcher, so you need to survey the terrain, know which way the wind is blowing. Just don't drag me into any brawls with beasts, my chief. With them, have I? This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel side in a rank tunic. How is this a rank tunic? You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? Oh, God. All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit. Yeah, I'm just gonna make him happy pretty much, see. Just do what he likes. Maybe not always, but you know. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Uh, I don't want to deal some clothes. Nice. Actually Perfect looks fit. pretty good. It feels tailor-made. Now for shoes. <coughs> Wear shoes to a wedding. Must be neat. <clears throat> May they 
draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. You see? Geralt's been a pill, a nag. That all changes today. <laughs> Dramatically, I'd say. He's never been very talkative to start with. He's been a fool. But I shall make up for that now. Will you marry me? <laughs> a big step, but I will think about it. For now, we should simply enjoy my friend's wedding. <laughs> May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment. Then you can jump right back in. Be quick. I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I like some of that nonsense. <laughs> what, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Yeah, relaxed. That's true. So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does that... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. Luckily, you've got me. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. <clears throat> you get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, <laughs> let alone... Ah! Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the camping. Mm. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. <laughs> ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compare to you, my dear Rupert. <laughs> Beware of the dog, Shari. Oh, God. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so true. <clears throat> what a lovely rowing. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, i do anything. Come. Time to meet and be greeted. Time to say hello. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. Oh. It's so snow. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you. From the bottom of our hearts. Now go. Enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. Oh, Jonas. It's an <coughs> The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlom. Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. 
I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could. Right -o. I'm sure <laughs> I'm <laughs> Extraordinary beauty, my dear. Why? Thank you. You had your pick of gents, I'm sure. Where is this going? I'm attempting to discern why she chose you, Jonas. You mean you don't approve of my wife's choice? I have no skin in this game. I ask out of pure curiosity. Well, rein it in, or I shall have to explain my wife's choice to you, hands off, out of pure pleasure. Why so testy, friend? I insulted you, merely told your wife she was a beautiful woman, yet here I'm threatened instead of getting thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Geralt, that's enough. She simply fell in love, that's that. Jonas, I'm sure my friend meant no offense. I think everything that I say is, <laughs> is gonna go badly. <laughs> Aldona seems a curious choice for a bride. Did she come with a hefty dowry? I assure you, Witcher, my choice had naught to do with coin. Jonas' family is far better off than mine. They be textile manufacturer. It took a lot of convincing to get Mother to agree to our, as some would have it, mess alliance. Toh, you never told me. Whatever happened to fortune is of no import to me and my family. It isn't. Jonas told me the same. But your background doesn't bother him. Never does. Not at love's first blossoming, but give it time. Five years and you'll find few things that don't bother you. I'm beginning to find what you say, bothersome. I don't know where you're from, but in these parts it is rude to insult newlyweds at a wedding. Insult? I'm merely warning you. Know a thing or two about life, you see. <sighs> Geralt and his jests. He has a strange sense of humor. Very strange, I'd say. Tell me, Aldona, how is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come. Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You need me to put in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you, as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap from the start. <laughs> We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few ugly maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Okay, lots of stuff we can do here. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. Funny <coughs> enough, my only daughter wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired her a true fire eater. You know, wool scrub, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. That'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. We'll show them how long they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers has gone as last Yule's wood. Groom's hand chased him off. That blasted demon. They sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpley. Master Witcher's here now. Perhaps he can aid us. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, 
will find this swallower of hidden things. Mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The flame gopher, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you. And hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Blood. <clears throat> I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. <sighs> Fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the fire leader. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe you. Tally-ho. Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. The dog made these tracks true. A small one. Judging by its house. Following demon some dog's open. trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. I think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. rest. <laughs> now. A broken branch. As if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Perhaps someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, uh, there is joy in this ferreting. Yeah, I'm here. We got you, man. Ah. <laughs> missing man, missing mutt. <clears throat> Have I seen this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. Come on, man. What do we do? Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That's sort of sport. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. <laughs> Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse, now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun. Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. <sighs> I say, your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Of course. Bottoms up. Give me that. <laughs> I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. I mean, true. Boar was fleeing a noun. And Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand. <laughs> that alone First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fireier, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. 
This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire guzzling trickery. How does it work? Oh, they toss me out of the guild if I tell. Except if I took you as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drag it all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You oh. dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me. <coughs> I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, <coughs> or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. Out with it. I've got a special mixture I'll drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that mm. all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. Oh, but just about enough of this. First they release the hounds, then come and steal my lead, and now insults. I'm done here. Goodbye. Well. Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Now, you're gonna forget everything you've seen, said, and heard in the woods. Wouldn't a smack upside the head help the matter? Put the cheating coward back in his place. No need. You'll go back to the wedding and show everybody your tricks. Your, your charlatan's tricks. Yes, sir. I'll do as you say. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. Perhaps. Keep See cold. Cold. Stay close. Come on, you. Come here, you idiot! Oh my god. Oh, you must inform the bride's mother the magician turned coward. Oops. How's that bear? Come here to me. Die, fiend! Okay. I mean, <sighs> I guess you'll have to go on without him. your fire liquor, but he gave up the ghost on the way back. Too much vodka. Just my luck to hire a drunk. And Damon, what's with him? He failed to return. <coughs> no, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a cat. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Dog's small beer. No fire eating, that's the grief. Ah, grief. No show. Oh no. What can we do? Hmm. I can't help but wonder. Must it be a fire eater who performs? What if instead there was oh I don't know a juggler? Just where would we find a juggler at this hour? But say you did, would that do as a replacement for the fire sniffler? A oh. sniffler? I suppose it might. Then I shall perform. <laughs> Who? Who's I've heard of a juggling witcher? Today I'm no ordinary witcher. In my youth I had a great many friends among circus folk. They taught me well. I shall gladly save you from your troubles. Well, if that's the case... I'll announce the performance. Go on. <clears throat> I'm gonna juggle for you. <laughs> My first Witcher contract didn't turn out as I'd hoped, and I still had a cracking time. How do I juggle? I wager none here's ever seen a juggling Witcher. Gather round, all, to behold a great wonder, a juggling witcher, the one and only. Look carefully, Shani. Ever seen such deft hands? I would love to show you what else they can do. Such evil, that it has a sunshine each day. 
refugees escaping hell. Check it out. Diamonds. So awesome. Was it to your liking? It was positively good. Look, 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 look. Munchkins playing cards. <laughs> Munchkins. <laughs> Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Mm. Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. Your need for insults? I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. <coughs> what else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let mm. us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Oh, God. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. <laughs> Let's hope now. Let's hope now. Um, okay, we got the extra. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay, that's better. Let's get rid of Zeldin as well, see if I can get something better. Okay. Hiya! Come on, something good. Fuck. Well, that's okay. <coughs> Mysterious elf. Hmm. Right, let's put down. Let's go siege units on this one. Should be fine. Okay, that's not good. That's not good for me. Maybe I'll just let him win. Yeah, I'll just let him win this one. I don't know how many he has. Shit. Oh god. He keeps putting stuff down. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. Right. I'm gonna need that. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's very cool. Fuck. Alright, well, at least I got him to use a scorch. <laughs> Hopefully, he doesn't have another one. Alright, 15. Alright. Passed on 44 points. Let's see what I can do here. Um. Right, let's put all these out. <coughs> Oh yeah, because I already have Dandelion down, it doesn't work. It's okay. You got wrecked your anyway. Up, mate. <laughs> those asses ears on your asses and <laughs> Such a shame. I'd already pictured you in those ears. Quite the interesting picture. Oh, we're waiting for you later. Other ways to look interesting. I could show you. <sighs> I'll think about it. Time to drink! We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. Times as short as you are, friends. <laughs> the witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? 
No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. <laughs> and what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. I should have lost on purpose to keep those ears. <clears throat> my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. Faster, faster <laughs> until we expire. <laughs> I'm the lord of the dance. They say dance is a mere foretaste of more intimate interaction. Who says this? I do, for one. I do wonder what you mean by um, you know. Oh, it's a fascinating process. One you as a scholar in many might find especially interesting. I gladly explain it in detail, but it's hard. See the ladder leads to a loft. Surely there we'd not be disturbed while investigating the nature of intimate interaction. It seems the music and the evening draw to a close. You know how a true dancer thinks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. <coughs> There's no good option there. I'm not upset. Just next time, don't lunge at me like that. I had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time I shall ask. Shami, may I kiss you? <laughs> you are incredible. <laughs> Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a trick. True. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. <laughs> Gary, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Well, I probably 
wouldn't have forced myself on you. Forced myself? It was an innocent kiss, not more. Mm. I don't know if I should thank you or if that should make me angry. But don't get me wrong. I've thought about doing just that a few times, but... But what? But I'm not going to talk about it with him here. We can discuss it once he's gone. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. Whoa! Hold there, mate! You said you weren't interested back in the crypt. Now suddenly, after I beat the cream all night, Ew. you swoop in to beat the belly cream and aim to delight in it without me present. What? Shut up. What's going on now? Nothing. Never mind. Beat the cream? What does that mean? That's fucking that gross. Yes, he acted as though he knew me, but we've never met. I'm surprised. Who is that? Counter Odin, Master Mirror. You know what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. We need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a wing. I promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a wing. Bah! I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. Get out of my way, you drunk peasant. Our gingerbread's now got flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madam. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of bumperdash is he feeding her? Quiet. He can listen and learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. Mm. For how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in the best You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time. Touch it. Let you smell it. Stroke it. Um. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. You seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simple. I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be touched. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. All geared ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. All geared learned to read fast, although you tried your damnedest to be. <coughs> As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you may do this. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still pay the invitation. Oh, by the way, all gears are much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it. I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But old gear told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once. I'm rather curious how you know all this. 
Ogier visits my grave often. Pours a drink for me, gets soused himself. And soused old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Ooh. Well, perhaps one day he will say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you anymore. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry. It's all right. That was... Forget it. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. Not a word of truth. Don't was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Okay, I guess I can't talk to those guys. All right. Your health, Sir Dwarves. May your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. To the young robots, may their loins never cut. In the sand, many a bear. Nice. If yeah. I may, Shani, I'd show you how I cut a jig. Damn, look at me go. I don't think you would move, but charm would grace. Thanks. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds and win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose. Nay, hey, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pig. Let's chase oh, some pigs. Damn, foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. Get that cripple out of there. <coughs> Could chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Let's fucking do it. Let's chase these piggies. Right, we need to get. Shame there's no painting here. It's a moment worth immortalizing posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. Hey, get. Can I, can I force them to go in with the axe? Come on, piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. Mum. Follow me. Come on. You see that, Shani? One big pen. Come on, you. Oh, is it? Oh, there we go. We got it. Feel foolish, peasants. <coughs> Learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed, they are. Whoa, Master Witcher. What were the trickery back there? The fancy finger twisted. I know. I've seen that before. Witcher told a lad to go hang himself, drew some flowers in the air with his hand, and the man lost his mind. Meaning you cheated, and shan't be crowned king of the swineherds. Shani, what is it Geralt says in these situations? Damn it. <laughs> yes, that's it. Damn it. Now for what I say. Go shove rakes up your asses. Peasant curse. <laughs> Do I look anything like a swine herd? Come, Shani. I've had enough of these hay seeds. Forgive me, Shani. I've let you down. Uh, are you worried about that pig? Oh, you needn't be. We're here as a couple. I wanted to win you that. that thing. Really? It's unimportant. Nothing at all. Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. I woo and woo, 
Yet you do not succumb. So I can't help but wonder, what am I doing wrong? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass. <laughs> of my hand, a blink of an eye. Oh god. Uh, that one, with the garland. Okay. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everett does his thing. I'm sure it's gonna go great. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Sean. <laughs> that would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. <laughs> My sweet, you are no mere maid, but a marvel of nature. And now, at last, fate knocks at your door. But I, well... I don't know right, lady. You needn't know anything. I know it all for us both. I shall make a true lady of you. On and on, <laughs> will grace the finest salons. Mm. Salons? Really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? In how? <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be mm. clear. Destry, step away from the barn. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brooks, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from. Hey! Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. You wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you going to do there? Talk some more? Naturally, we would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I've grabbed me a fence post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Bury your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn fun. Because we're going to tan your mutant freak I did. I tried. That does it. Let's do it. I'm sure. It... Oh, Jesus. Show us what you got. Okay. Hot damn, boy. Me <laughs> beat your asses to a piece of a fence. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do it. Come here, you fucking idiots. Oh. Get wrecked. Chop. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> God. Away with you. Be gone. I'm tired of looking at your slack jawed yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Hey, man. Don't. You must explain I was not at first. <clears throat> they lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. <laughs> my hands. Fine. I shall try. I try to not hit them. <clears throat> oh, Shani approaches. I'm likely to be happy, eh? You made this mess. You do the explaining. Oh. All right. Your methods 
quite unusual mm. to rule a woman by beating up her brother. <laughs> Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. Mm. A hazard of the trade, my love. I'm clearly a bit out of practice. But point out the next young miss, and I will gladly prove I... You've proven everything, Amber. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. <sighs> so good to shake the kings from one's bones. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn. So I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter than an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Well. That was crazy. It's 11 p.m. The shit's almost over. from the water an old pot mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes in case she can't find a print <coughs> you were supposed to fish out my slippers i'm at a dance now with one foot bed it is a wedding i've got to wear slippers oh look dearie i did take there muck must have sucked it deep in we poked your paws in there rut for it rubbish game What's all this then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. The man's got to dive in and fish it out. Slipper, mate, that's a fucking boot. Let's get it. Hiya! Observe the My eyes are glued. What the fuck? Where is this thing? Um, did I get it? I must have gotten it. I guess those three were the only three in there. No amount of silk could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes are the tossed in the leg. <laughs> it's better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Well, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. <laughs> and clever. Just yeah. figuring that out. Mm. Oh, I God. believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. 
That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm -hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is on. Uh, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. Geralt, there's no need. So be it. If there's no demand, I shan't supply. But it would have been a beautiful speech. It's almost midnight. <coughs> Time for the cafe. I don't want to upset anybody. Shani, take your place. If Shani says not to, then I shan't. Times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jestily or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused with old gear's way. I couldn't resist. Had to pen a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Don't dirt, but good. Lovely custom. Blushing maids, twirling in dance, their hair swirling freely, their bodices is un bouncing. Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see, she asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. <laughs> that kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I received one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. The time's come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. 
Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Garrett think about that? You gave your word. Shawnee, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. I needn't have. But I could. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see. So... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and it just so happens... I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. Oh, I don't think he was bothering us that much. <clears throat> Pretty funny guy. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade, follow his path. As for me, well, perhaps I expected too much of this weather. Got the wrong impression. I'm sure I understand. Never mind. I should find Eldona. <coughs> I am her bridesmaid, after all. Hmm. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. <laughs> Your friend will now make a show yeah. of being hurt. Pick her some flowers, or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Well, that would be great advice. But we don't want that. Just like a part of a bequest, Dead Man's Party. Can I not do it? I don't understand. There we go. Watch 
still in full swing, but your face, I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. Years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. You've got friends. Me, for one. In that case, let's drink to our friendship. To friendship. I'm afraid the drinks got to our minstrels. Horribly off me. <laughs> let's go for a walk. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <laughs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. That was background. What I remember most, the mood, the feelings, the people I met. And those I met for the second time in my life. You're right. I was up to my elbows in work, but those were good times. They're nice memories. For me, too. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop, if business is booming. Good. I'm right here, it. See? Coins tied to torrent. Don't tell me your battle axe. <laughs> She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. Our lips are sealed as the grave. Those men fought me to stick together. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. You could call me Dar. You Dar. I feel honored. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. <laughs> I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. You mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him and chosen him. Doubt your mother's that unbending. You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. 
You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. You couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in that condition. Well, if they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. I couldn't have done anything, sadly. But somehow I think I would have survived. I think so, too. I imagine you've lived through worse than a tryst in a barn with some milkmaid. Definitely. A tryst in a barn would be a much more pleasant experience than a fight in a manticore's den. Mm. Ooh. Gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips. With my lips. Just one. Gerald, would have felt any what are you doing there? That I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. I don't consent to this. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Love to stay, I would. But we ought to get back to the wedding. Oh, yes. Yes. That's best. Any for your thoughts? Just thinking that friends should stay friends. Mm -hmm. My feeling too. I have a lot to think about. Alone. So I'm not going back to the wedding. Not really fond of watching drunks stagger around anyway. <coughs> Shani, wait. Before you go, I need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgierd. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Gerald. Okay. Right, one, one wish down. Spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. I'm curious what he had to say. Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. <coughs> Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Not 
to mishandle is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. <laughs> is that all? Or have you something else? I'm gonna work on getting you Bersoni's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, nice. We did it. Right, gonna go make some food.